Hey boys and gals, this is Robot Clashes by MoFunZone.com. That is apparently the game site and developer. You can play it on MoFunZone.com and there are apparently achievements. I don't honestly care about that. I thought this title screen effect is neat. It sort of follows your my mouse. It's just mildly disorienting. A funny thing is you can't delete your save file ever. So I actually had to do this in an incognito window. Not that, that matters. Anyway, you get these talent points and you can put them into either offensive abilities, weapon abilities, which is apparently different than offensive abilities and defensive. We are going to get this because it's one of the only ones that matters right now. This only matters if you get if you have units called assassins. We don't yet. This matters with the spray gun weapon, which we will have, we have that by default. And this increases the armor of your base. I'll explain these later, because we can't get many of them yet. So our objectives are down here. You upgrade armor 1 to level 2 and spray gun to level 2. And here's the story, told by Robot General Man. Welcome, soldier. And welcome, welcome and welcome to the Scrap Moon. You won't find any challenging enemies here, but it's good for training on your first steps. Good, good luck, scrap boy. Mission objectives are still the same. Yes. So yeah, this is where your weapons and armor are. You upgrade them. You pay resources to upgrade them, but they're basically free. They only cost time to recharge, so... This is our resources up here. The skull you get when you kill people. And the lightning bolt just goes up on its own. So now we can buy armor 1, or we can buy the spray gun. Let's get the spray gun. Yep, you, you, you click up here to drop it. You instantly get the first one, and your unit picks it up. No, go back. Whatever. Just trust that our guy has that weapon. If you upgrade your gear, you spawn it more often. That's the only point of upgrading. The gear doesn't actually get better, you just get more of it. You have unlimited units, if you haven't guessed. They just constantly spawn at a constant rate. And the only difference, they're always the same unless you give them equipment. So that's the point of upgrading. You just upgrade to give yourself better equipment. And now that we've upgraded both Armor 1 and Spray Gun, we win. And we apparently level up. And we get some new weapons. Shotgun is a shotgun. Better armor is better armor. And now we have two talent points, and we'll go ahead and get that, even though we won't need it. You have to be pretty bad in these first few levels to lose by losing your base health. Welcome, soldier! Now that you know how to upgrade your equipment, let's see how you, well you can use it. Smash the enemies and collect their heads for extra bounty points. I'm not quite sure what my accent is. So yeah, collect 10 heads, kill 3 generals. Collecting heads adds more of this, um, I guess it's bounty points up here, the skulls. Killing someone is worth 1, and if you collect their head, which is really just random chance whether you get their head or not, you get 5 extra points. So don't worry about the heads, they're just basically bonus points. And if you notice, your first set of equipment only requires the lightning bolts, but no bounty. As you keep going to the right, the upgrades start costing more and more bounty points. So by the time you get to these last two weapons, you need a ton of bounty points, but relatively... well, not relatively few, but compared to the bounty points, it's not as many resource points. As you can see, the game's not hard at all yet. Uh, these cannons defend your base. They're an instant kill, but they usually have a limited amount of ammo. Um, no, no, scroll back over here. See, ours has five shots, but the enemy often has unlimited shots. That usually means you're not supposed to try and kill your enemy. Because, yeah, we, there we go. We just wanted to kill the generals. Yay, we did that. Welcome, soldier. You, you, you can stop welcoming me. I've been here for, like, five minutes. Have you tried to combine your armor and a weapon yet? No? Well, it's about time. Drop one in each 
at the same time, so one of our soldiers gets even stronger. Create four armor one things and four armor two shotgun things. Yeah, basically you want to give them a weapon and a gun. That way they get the full use out of the armor and the gun at the same time. And since enemy, since your units spawn at a constant rate, it's pretty easy to time it so that they pick up both. Oh, and a neat thing is the camera auto focuses on where the action is, which is basically where your units and the enemy units meet. If you want to look back at your base, you can go hover over this. That lets you see when your units are spawning so you can time the equipment drops so you don't waste them. There we go. I am I totally forgot we were supposed to do this in some sort of order. So yeah, armor 1 spray gunners, that's these two here. And you can see what is spawning and what the name is, what the time is over here. The most ready is always at the top. Let's hurry it up, people. Computers. Whatever. So we want to drop these at the same time so that one person gets them both. Hey. And there we go. That guy on the right there is our Armor 1 Spray Gunner, number 1. And now we're going to have a Armor 2 Shotgunner. I guess we only need two of those. Yeah, the, the beginning isn't the most exciting, but it's pretty fun when you're first doing it just to see. It's neat that they just keep going as you, you know, figure out the game. It's like stuff is actually happening, which is always exciting. I love when stuff happens. Stuff not happening is pretty lame. Gotta admit. But it's still a tutorial level, so it's still a tutorial level. And don't even bother trying to kill this thing. It does definitely seem possible. Like, on levels where that's not the objective. But I have no idea what happens then. I kind of assume... Either they just keep... Aw, oh, crap. They just keep going. Or... Either they just keep coming from nowhere. Or the game probably ends. So... I wouldn't consider it worth it. Come on. Oh, and as you level up, your resources gain quicker, and your units have a little bit more health, so it gets relatively easier as you go on as your level goes up, which is sort of the point of leveling up and everything. There we go. Just one more armor spray gunner thingy person. And as far as the weapons, I pretty I really like the spray gun, but I'm not sure how actually good it is. I just like rapid fire things. The progression of the weapons does seem to be in good order. There we go. We win because we upgraded crap. Our life went up slightly. Sniper rifle is pretty good. Armor 3 is armor 3. The sniper rifle is best with the assassin which is what this thing mentions, but we don't have those yet, so we don't have the freeze gun either. Um, we don't have a use for that. Um, whatever. You can... Oh, it went away. You can redistribute your talent points anytime you want, so don't worry. Oh, snap! He's got an alien blob on his face. We got a little problem over here. Our alien lab reported a jailbreak a few minutes ago. We still don't know where... <laughs> Brain slugs. Cute little buggers, aren't they? So, yes. And don't worry, I initially thought if you collected the alien heads, you would, like, get infected or something. That's not how the game goes. Yeah, as you notice, see, the sniper rifle requires as many bounty points as resource points. And it, there's less bounty towards relative to resource as you go left. Oh, there we go, assassin. Assassin plus 
the sniper rifle is a pretty awesome combo, so let's just check that out. It's annoying that these reorder when you're about to click. Anyway, that is our sniper assassin guy. The assassin helmet offers no extra defense, but it lets you do more damage, which is great for the sniper rifle. As you can see, he's just sort of being a camping, cheating SOB and just wailing on that whatever this is. It's your base, I guess. It's a large tank of yellow liquid. That's where robots come from. And babies. Babies and robots at the same time. It's pretty gross, actually. We've got a lot... Wow, that went really quickly. They got owned. Juggernaut spawn time. What is that? We don't know what that means yet. Acid gun! Sniper armor. Increase... This is... This is called Assassin, it's not Sniper Armor. The English isn't the best in this game, honestly, but that's Assassin. Acid Gun is awesome, by the way. It's deliciously awesome. Um, let's reset here. Sniper range. Yeah, let's do this. Sniper weapon with extra range is pretty freaking awesome. And that grenade is actually pretty helpful. It's basically a free kill for every spray gun you use. Kill the tentacle, collect 20 heads. Hey, Mr. Tentacle, you are very large. Let's kill this giant tentacle and collect some heads. And there's some grunting noises. So yeah, here is the assassin... It says no armor, but it says, the initial description says it increases the damage you take, or it reduces armor is what it says. That doesn't seem the same as saying no armor, because you would sort of assume that when they're not wearing any armor, they aren't armored. You know, if that makes sense to you. But apparently that's not the case, and apparently it reduces your armor, but it's still worth it. But... As I said before, with the assassin thing, you want to get you want to get the sniper rifle with the assassin thing, especially when you have the added range. They get just a bit more range and they get to live longer because of that. And as you notice their aiming is not the best sometimes. They can be very derptacular. Oh, acid gun. Excellent. Check this thing out. Except you really should give your better... Oh, it's already over. Well, okay then. Freeze gun. Okay, we have all of the armor now. This is not armor 2. This is the, um, like, captain helmet or something. I'm, I have no idea why it says armor 2. But yeah, it, it gives you the best armor and it increases your damage. Yeah, it's just the best armor. Let's see what we can get now. We can't get that. Freeze. Um, let's just keep doing what we were doing. Next level. I have no idea what what points you get to get level ups. You just get them when you beat levels. I think the progression is pretty much set in stone, but don't hold me to that. Welcome, soldier! We've arrived at the new planet called Aqua Number 9, and we found a factory with strange constructs in it. They turned out... They they were turned off, but looked scary, even in this state. Be careful, soldier. We don't know what... With, but, but we don't know with what we are dealing with. Oh, snap. Those are juggernauts. As we can see, we are going to destroy juggernauts. So, let's destroy some juggernauts with Spray Gun! Which actually isn't that epic, but it's what we have right now. And we'll probably see in a few seconds what the juggernauts are. There we go! That is a juggernaut. He runs with a skip and a hop. And he totally owns our guys, so... That's gonna be a problem. Yeah, he completely destroys normal units. 
And he has, like, little mortars he fires sometimes, too. Oh, and a neat, a neat effect is, if you notice, there's one crest on the armor 1, 2 on armor 2, 3 on armor 3. It's a nice way to give you an at-a-glance look at what armor level your guys have. I wish these would... Ah, oh, never mind. I wish they would, these would line up with what weapon they fit with, but that's sort of a judgment call, so I guess it really couldn't do that. It just annoys me when the sniper switches away from the assassin, because it's like, that's what you're supposed to do, but... It really is just a judgment call. That's what I like to do, though. We've killed three juggernauts, I think. That guy is using the freeze gun. We'll use that in a little bit. There's actually... Oh! What the hell? Freeze gun! Go. Now watch this guy. You always want to give a better armor to someone wielding the freeze gun or acid gun. Because they're expensive and they're pretty good, so you want to keep them alive. But as you can see, it freezes them. Big surprise. It even freezes juggernauts, I think. Yeah, and it lets you kill them pretty quick once they're frozen. And level 1. And we get juggernauts. <laughs> Heavy combat roboter. It will spawn automatically. Yeah, the English is not. English best not am in this game. And I think we can get you. Damage boost my favorite. Increases damage of all robots. So let's just go through all of these before I end the video. Assassin Bomb. Every assassin's head turns into a weapon that kills an enemy if it picks it up. It's really not reliable, but it may get you some free kills. This just adds more range to your sniper rifle. It's, it's good enough. Damage boost is great, I think. It sounds great anyway. Special unit spawns an extra special unit armor every 46 seconds. Which doesn't make any sense to you at first, but it just means you get the best armor in the game once every 46 seconds, pretty much. The grenade gives you a single grenade for every spray gun. It's basically a free kill. You get extra freezes. I don't know what the extra percent you get. Increases chance of Y freeze effect. Well, okay then. Acid bomb! Every enemy killed by your acid gun disintegrates with the flag rate. That's a surprisingly big word for poor English. Not that I'm making fun of this. But I am. But whatever. But yeah, this I haven't used much. I'm not sure how helpful it is. Rocket soldier. I also... Well, this spawns a rocket launcher, which I think is pretty much supposed to be the best weapon in the game. I haven't used it yet. Base armor increases armor. Boring as heck. More gunshots means your base gets more gunshots when it's defending. It's I don't use it because I don't like to be on the defensive. This is good because your robots last longer and so you don't die horribly. Rocket salve. I For the longest time, I had no idea what the hell this could possibly be. It, it means a rocket salvo. Um, it's just a barrage of rockets that target the first hostile robot outwards from your base. It's pretty damaging. It's really good, but it's uncontrollable, and it's, it seems pretty random. Uncontrollable. <laughs> it really should just say automatic. It's an uncontrollable rocket salve every 43 seconds. That makes perfect sense to you, doesn't it? Makes perfect sense to me. Next video, we will go to level 2-2, I guess.